Subaru coolant conditioner. We're going to go over the who, the what, the when, and the why. So most likely if you've been working on your Subaru for any given amount of time, as most of you viewers are DIY people and like to do your own repairs, you've probably seen this product or at least heard of it. It's the Subaru cooling system conditioner. This product came out in the early 2000s. It was part of a Subaru service program. The service program was labeled WWP-99. I'm going to try to put it here on the screen for you as we talk about this. The, basically, I'm going to go over the service program, the letter that most uh, owners got. The issue date was February of 2004. Uh, basically, it was a letter to Subaru owners. Uh, it was letting people know of a precautionary measure. Subaru of America Incorporated is recommended that special conditioner be added to the engine cooling system of certain 99 through 2002 model Subaru vehicles equipped with a 2.5 liter engine. This recommendation, which applies to Subaru vehicles, is made to prevent possible external coolant leak at your vehicle's engine head gaskets. So background information, your vehicle's engine cooling system contains liquid coolant slash antifreeze. Over time it is possible for small external coolant leaks to develop in the, at the engine cylinder head gasket. This is the result of normal expansion and contraction of the engine components caused by heating and cooling of these parts. To prevent coolant leaks and de from developing or to correct existing leaks at your head gaskets, a special Subaru cooling system conditioner should be added to your vehicle's cooling system. What should you do? You should contact your Subaru dealer pool as soon as possible for an appointment to have your, uh, this operation uh, done at no cost to you. Approximate time is 15 minutes. However, it may be necessary to leave your vehicle for a full day of your scheduled appointment to allow the dealer flexibility in scheduling. Please present this letter to Subaru dealership at the time the repair procedure is performed. Future maintenance. In the future, it is necessary to add this Subaru cooling system conditioner to your vehicle's cooling system whenever the engine coolant is replaced. Uh, recommended service intervals stay the same. Check your maintenance and warranty booklet information. Uh, yada yada yada. Failure to use this would void your warranty. Uh, warranty extensions. Subaru has extended the limited lifetime warranty on the cylinder head gaskets for a period of eight years or 100,000 miles. Uh, what else we got here? And that's basically the gist of the letter that people got in 2004 when this product was introduced. The product is, like it said, uh, to combat the external head gasket leaks that came about on the second generation of the 2.5 the EJ251, the single overhead cam version that came after the EJ25D, which was the original dual overhead cam in a 2.5 that came in the Outback and Forrester models in 98, I think is when it was introduced in the US or 97, somewhere in there. But uh, so they came out with this bulletin and the bulletin was supposed to be applicable to 99 to 2002 uh, Forester, Impreza, and 2000 to 2002 Legacy and Outback. And it just goes over all of that. So, what is this stuff? Why did Subaru tell everyone to bring their car in and have this installed to help with the head gaskets? And uh, what's the whole deal with this stuff and why is it still around today? So as far as I know, even on modern Subarus, they still recommend that you run this stuff in the cooling system with the Subaru Super Coolant. Might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Um, the whole background on the Subaru Super Coolant, as you can see here at the bottom, I'll put a better picture up. I don't know if I'll be able to focus on that. But in the bottom cast in this bottle, it says Holtz, and it's kind of in the middle of a Union Jack flag split in half. Uh, and if you look at the back of the product, you can peel the back of the label up. And it says that this product is manufactured in England for Subaru of America, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. 
and gives the Subaru part number. Shows you how to use it. Basically, take your radiator cap off while the coolant is cold, of course. Uh, remove 125 milliliters of coolant from the cooling system. Pour this in its place, reinstall your radiator cap, and you're good to go. Uh, if you're doing a coolant flush, you pour this in before you pour the coolant in. So the Holtz here is what we need to focus on and the fact that it's made in England. We'll track down the original product and manufacturer. This is not available in the U.S. I had to actually order this from the U.K. Got it, I believe, on Amazon. But this is what that product is originally. It is made by Holtz and it's a product called Radweld. Basically, it's a cooling system stop leak. The bottle is a little bit bigger, but as you can see, it's the exact same uh, outer dimensional shape, same red cap, same stamped Holtz at the bottom in the Union Jack flag. This is uh, 250 milliliters, this is 125 milliliter, uh, so essentially about half the size we're getting here from the Subaru. And what does this say? Seals most leaks in radiators, heater cores, and hoses. Treats up to 14 liters. Uh, same kind of thing. Remove from the cooling system your coolant. Pour this in its place. Reinstall your radiator cap. So why did Subaru tell everyone to bring their car in so they could throw in a bottle of stop leak? Well, this was, as I've heard in a little bit of speculation, uh, Subaru was in a bind because they were having such massive head gasket issues with the original EJ25D and the 251 when it came out. So to cure that and help push these cars out of their warranty period where Subaru was no longer liable for the repair, they started chunking this in every car in hopes that it would gum up those head gasket leaks long enough to get the car out of warranty where Subaru wouldn't be forced to warranty repair all of the head gasket issues. That's just what I've heard and that's just the speculation, but it does make sense that they so feverishly got everyone in the door to throw a bottle of stop leak in their cooling system. Uh, I've heard there is so much talk of this stuff since it came out in 2004. If you're on Nauseac or SubaruOutback.org or any of the forums, uh, related to Subarus, there's always been a lot of talk about the cooling system conditioner, what it is, what it isn't, what it's supposed to do, what it doesn't do. I've heard people say, oh, it's an additive to help uh, the coolant's performance to help dissipate heat. Something like uh, a product like water wetter, where it's supposed to lower temperatures. That's absolutely not that. I don't know why people got that in their head. It's just a bottle of Holtz Radweld uh, anti-coolant uh, stop leak that uh, has a Super America sticker on it. So uh, the next question is, um, do I recommend using it? Should you use this stuff? If you have a new Subaru under warranty and it says to use this stuff, use this stuff because if you don't, uh, your warranty will be voided. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if the new F-Series engines still call for this, but as far as I know, they are from a couple sources of mine that work at dealerships. Uh, like I said, I can't 100% say for sure. I haven't, I've tried to look up owner's manual PDFs and I haven't seen any mention of it, but uh, it wouldn't be a big shock to me if they were still putting this stuff in there. So what is this cooling system conditioner made of that would make it less harmful than say a regular stop leak? And as far as my research into this has come up with, this is a kind of a natural um, product. It is made from ginger root, as far as I can tell. And the premise is that while the ginger root stays wet, it's uh, perfectly pliable, small little chunks. It'll go for your cooling system. It won't gum up and it won't uh, clump together and cause blockages. But as soon as it's exposed to air and dries, it will swell up. So if this stuff gets to a pinhole leak or something like that and the air gets to it and it dries, it'll swell up and block the leak up. So in theory, uh, does it actually work? Um, not so much. Uh, does it work for the EJ25D head gasket leaks? Uh, no, and no stop leak really works for those. Uh, as 
far as I could think, because the majority of the time when the EJ25D head gasket fails, it, hell, it fails because of combustion being pushed out into the coolant jacket. And if the stop leak is in the coolant, it is not gonna go in past the combustion to seal. Combustion will constantly push the coolant and the stop leak away from that leak and will not seal it up. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, for the EJ251, 253s with the external coolant leaks between the head and the block, will this stuff work? It can slow a leak. Will it completely stop it? Eh, who knows? The only way to really do it is to do it the right way and replace your head gasket and machine your heads uh, using the new uh, Subaru multi-layer steel gasket, which are basically just the old STI head gasket. So, is this stuff dangerous to run in your car? No, not really. Run it in my own. Ran it in tons of people's and tons of people all across the country have had it forcefully put in their car since 2004 without a massive uh, lot of clogged radiators, heater cores, etc. on super vehicles. So, perfectly safe to use as far as I can tell. Uh, before we go, I'm going to open this bottle and I'm going to open this bottle and we're gonna pour them out just to make sure they're the exact same product. As far as I've known for many years from forums and everything else, people claim these are the exact same formulation, exact same product, but uh, never had the chance before now to have them both in my hands in person because this is a UK only product. So we're gonna open them up and check and make sure they are, well, at least visually, the exact same product. Uh, this stuff has a kind of reddish, brown, muddy water look with some chunks in it. I might be completely wrong on that, guys. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, I am colorblind. I'm red, green, colorblind, so I'm not exactly sure what color this stuff is. I've heard it's reddish brown. That might not be true, so if you think I'm a crackpot, that's why. It's not, uh, I don't know my colors. It's just I'm colorblind, so let's try uh, pouring this stuff out and uh, see if it looks the same. So we got our sealed bottle of the Subaru coolant conditioner. Dang it, I forgot to shake it up. Oh well. So, yeah, it's kind of brownish looking to me. Oh, yeah, that was a big chunk. Hmm. It's not very pleasant smelling, but this is the cooling system conditioner. So that's it there. Like I said, it's that kind of uh, reddish, brownish, maybe color, and there are some chunks in it floating. I don't know how well you can uh, make that out. I'm going to pour this back in the bottle. We're going to open the Holtz Rad Weld, pour it in, and see if it looks like the same product. I probably shouldn't have shook this since I didn't shake the uh, Subaru version. Oh well. Cut this open, and surprise, surprise, it looks like it's the same stuff. Yep, smells exactly the same and looks exactly the same. So pretty much 100% confirm that uh, Subaru coolant conditioner. Oh yeah, okay. So looks identical, smells identical. I can just about 100% confirm that Subaru coolant, uh, Subaru cooling system conditioner is in fact 100% uh, a half size restickered bottle of Holtz Rad Weld. It's just a stop leak. That's all it is. There's no uh, modifier for the cooling system, cooling capacity. It doesn't help disperse uh, heat out of the cooling system any better. So yeah, that pretty much confirms it. Holtz Rad Weld and Subaru cooling system conditioner are the exact same product. Just a half size bottle 
and uh, a different sticker on it. So, confirmed. Oof, same smell, same look, same consistency. It is what it is. Well, with that said, I think we'll wrap up this video here. I've talked enough about this stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.